Hi everyone, it's Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So today's video is going to be slightly different. Um, slightly different. I'm going to be showing you stuff, Sensi stuff, but how it's different is, um, I guess, um, somebody gifted me some Sensi products and, um, I guess you would call it a random act of kindness and she gifted me a bunch of sensi stuff that uh, bars that she doesn't like or haven't like hasn't bothered using doesn't want kind of thing um uh she gave me um bags to for customer orders and whatnot just a bunch of stuff that she hasn't used and she was like here you know have at it so I'll, I'll show you real quick, real quick. Well, we'll see. Uh, I'll show you what, what I got and uh, I'm pretty excited. So I'll just kind of get into it. Okay. So first thing um, I was gifted, I guess, would be this box. Let me know for older consultants or people who've been around with Sensi for a while. If you, let me know if you recognize this. So basically, let's see here. Oh, I got it. It opens this way. So I think it's like a, a display box of a sort. So you could put like flyers, pamphlets here, and items in here. But uh, it's quite large. Ugh. So let me know if you know what this box is. It's, uh, I know it's, uh, I think she had to purchase it. But anyways, so here is some stuff that's inside and I'll show you what she gave me. Uh, she gave me a, uh, a 40 watt Edison bulb, brand new. She gave me, these looks like just little birthday cards saying, you know, happy birthday. Sorry, it's backwards. But it just says birthday wishes, da, 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 happy birthday. Uh, she gave me some pamphlets for the 129 uh, Canadian starter kit. I got some, oh, got a stack of like thank you cards that I can, I guess, give to my customers. Uh, Sensi notepad. She gave me, um, these are thank you postcards that I can mail to people. So a nice little stack there. I got some scratch and stiff stickers. This one's for Welcome Home, which was June 2020 cent of the month. This one here is Waves and Wonders. And I also got, um, oh, Rainbows and Butterflies, which I really like that thing. She also gave me some decals for my vehicle. I already have some, but that's okay. Maybe I can talk my husband into putting some decals on his truck. I highly doubt it. He, um, I mentioned it once before and he kind of laughed it off, but... I think he thought I was joking, but anyways. So uh, this one just says Sensi Independent Consultant. Sensi Independent Consultant, same one. So there's two of these. This one says Catalogs on Board. This one says Free Just Ask Catalogs on Board. Who knows, maybe I put it as a bumper sticker. Um, I also got a bunch of these. Um, these are thank you stickers. Are you opened? Uh, here's a pack of thank you stickers. Look like it's brand new, unopened. Some more thank you stickers. <laughs> Some more thank you stickers. Whole pack. Uh, oh, these are uh, for our uh, $129 um, consultant kits. So three packs of those, and then another pack of thank you stickers. Wow, I don't have to worry about that for a while. And I also got two containers with, I think it says refresher fragrance on it, or fra sorry, fragrance refresher. Hang on, let me pop this open without busting my, there we go. Oh, and she sells coffee beans, so coffee grinds. So I guess it's when you're, yep, someone's sniffing the wax, you know, you can kind of get nose blind sniffing a bunch. So you're supposed to sniff coffee beans to kind of clear your sinuses, uh, you know, refreshes what is it fragrance refresher anyway so i got two of those and then i have this empty box now the big thing i want to show you give me a second here i just gotta grab it now this is like the big deal this is the like whoa. she gifted me oh i'll show you real quick here some scent circles i got What's this one? Snow Place Like Home, which is perfect for this time of year. She, I actually got two sea salt and avocados, but my husband's was, was, truck was due for a change in, so I put that in there. And Mandarin Grapefruit Amber, which apparently is a really, really good scent. And then I got a, ooh, looks like an old uh, car bar of Welcome Home. So I'll still try it out, you know. Uh, I've never tried the wax Welcome Home, so it'll give me a nice uh, 
idea. Now here's the big thing that the most exciting thing, that, the thing I'm most excited about, I should say. I can barely talk. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how big this is. She, I counted, she gifted me 47 wax bars. 47. Now I went through them and some of them are like really old. So I'm probably gonna use those up first, but others are like from last July's Bring Back My Bar and uh, I'll just jump into it. Now I did go through and jot down set notes because some of them I'd never tried before or heard of. So I, jot, I made some notes, so uh, I'll get into it. Okay, uh, first one I got here is a Bring Back My Bar 2016. It says right on the package, go, go, goji. Um, that one is, let's see here. Aha. Go Go Goji was Bring Back My Bar January 2016. It says tart Chinese goji berry, sweet lotus flowers, and ripe warm dewberries. So I looked up what a goji berry is, and it's also called a wolf berry. It's an orange red berry native to China. It's been eaten for generations in an attempt to live longer. And dewberries is closely related to blackberries, reminiscent of a raspberry, but are purple to black instead of red. So take that what you will. So I'm expecting fruity with a bit of floral. See, so look at, you can see it's old. It's uh, shiny. Yeah, it's fruity floral. But it's not, um, I don't know. I, I feel like to me, I feel like I'm smelling like, kind of like a mango or something like that in here. But anyways. Like I said, this one's kind of oldie, an oldie one. You see, it's kind of... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in a pile to, like, you know, use up first. So that's the first one, Goji Berry. The next one I have here is uh, Pink Cotton. That was in the regular catalog. I think it's still uh, available for certain products. Now, where did I write that one down? Clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. Which I agree. Um, I, when I always describe this one, I describe it as like a clothesline with a hint of berries and sweetness. It's really nice. I think I've tried one bar before. So uh, this one here is actually newer. Like it's just starting to sweat a little, but uh, it's in a lot better shape than that go, go, goji berry one. Anyways, uh, this one's from Bring Back My Bar. Now the Bring Back My Bar is from July. I had gotten like the entire kit for that one and they did an entire video you know with the scent descriptions and what I thought and what I'll link I did like a first sniff and then like a post warm review I'll link those down below I'm not gonna go into detail on those ones just I'm gonna be here all day so southern evening was from July's bring back my bar it's a bit shiny but it's like a manly perfume but I also kind of smell like I don't want to say dirt and plants, but almost like, you know, um, man cologne, like the guy was like sitting by garden, maybe. That's what I get. Anyways, Southern Evening. Lilac and Violets is the next one. I've never tried this one only because I'm not, I know it's a strong floral and I'm not into the strong. Ooh, <laughs> that's uh, an oldie. Yeah, it's still strong. So I'm going to have to use it or give it to my mom. That one is basically exactly as it says, Lilacs and Violets. It's floral. Uh, another one I have here is Jammy Time, which is current, but I can tell by looking at it that this is an old bar. Um, ooh, yeah, it's an old bar, but it still smells really strongly of Jammy Time, so I will give that one a go. Um, ooh, I've got a Mickey Mouse and Friends, which is also current. Mmm, this smells like candy peach rings. This is really good. Mickey Mouse and Friends. And that is uh, current, so you can get that. Cashmere Pear. This one is in the current Bring Back My Bar, but clearly she got this a while ago because uh, it's oily. This smells like a... Did I write it down? I must have. Ah, Warm Red Ginger, Silky Pears, White Amber, Madagascar, Vanilla. This is... Like, if you liked White Sands from the last Bring Back My Bar. If you like those like bedroom florals, those almost like they could be a perfume, or like a nice soft body spray, that would be this. This is nice. I'm gonna have to put this in my pile to melt quickly or soon because uh, that one's oily. Uh, another current scent I have here is 100 Acre Wood. I've tried this before. I did uh, give my thoughts on it. It says here it's cotton blossoms, wild jasmine and vanilla. This one's in great shape. This one's nice. This is like a nice, again, soft, 
soft floral bedroom scent. Like this is something, you know, when you're, you're all cozy and fresh sheets and you got this going in the bedroom and you're ready for bed. This is really nice. My kids really like that one. Okay, we also got a previous Bring Back My Bar, which was from this past July, Rio Beach. So I went into detail that before, but, but I believe this was like a papaya and uh, like a tropical, I'm getting tropical drink kind of thing. Ooh, fresh cut grass. I don't have to smell this. I remember this one. Grass. Definitely smells like grass. Um, ooh, this one I like. Fuzzy Blanket. This was available uh, in the catalog before Jammy Time came around. I feel like this would be Jammy Time's cousin or something. Like, they're related. And I kind of like this one better than Jammy Time. They should do a little swap just for like a catalog or two. Just for a little bit. This one's good. Fuzzy Blanket. I'm glad I got that one. Okay. Um, if anybody watched a recent video, I'm not even going to open it. I'm not even going to smell it. This one is Snowberry. This one is going to head to, I don't know, my mom, somebody. Somebody I know who wants it, they can have it. Uh, I got, ooh, bring back my bar from July, Thunderstorm. And this one is a Route 66 from July's Bring Back My Bar. This, this is like a man's, like almost like a man's deodorant or cologne or like body wash. But it's nice. Like I wouldn't mind my, my husband using this stuff if it wasn't like a body in the body category route 66 manly scent and thunderstorm yeah it's aquatic almost like <laughs> okay okay i'll smell the bottom yeah it's aquatic um thunderstorm sounds about right let's see what else i got here oh perfect pumpkin pear i have this one written down it was the scent of the month for October 2019. It's fresh pumpkin, pear, clove, sandalwood. And it was released with that enchanted pumpkin warmer that I missed out on and then came back. And then I hesitated and missed out on again. So I hope it comes back again, but it probably won't. I probably missed out. Ooh, I think this was when it was the scent of the month from 2019. It's nice and juicy. Not as bad as the other ones, but this is like an earthy pumpkin, like... I don't want to say dirt, but like, you know, like I picture you're outside. It's nice. Perfect pumpkin pear. It's all right. Like wouldn't be like a, a favorite. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. But if I had it, I would enjoy it. You know, what else? Oh, I see. I see. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'll start with these two. Simply Rose and Cashmere were both in the Bring Back My Bars from July. I'm not going to open them or sniff them. Simply Rose is just that. It's Rose. I'm not a huge fan. It was fine when I melted it, mixed in with that fresh cut grass to give it more of a, you know, an outside kind of smell. And I also mixed it with uh, some of the cakey smells, but it was just like cake and rose. Mm, not my thing. Uh, cashmere, again, this smelled like, I remember this vividly. It smelled like my grandma's bathroom very floral like a really strong floral soap or something so i'm not gonna i'm gonna sniff that but if you watch my video from before i sniff it i describe it i do that there uh fiddly fig this one was in the catalog before um wild fern mission fig which is apparently a popular kind of fig and hints of crushed rosemary and coconut now i never bothered trying this one i thought greenery i'm not gonna like it and you know, it's greenery. It's fine. It's not the worst greenery scent I've ever tried. I'll melt it. I'll, I'll try it out. But again, when I smell it, I don't go, ooh, mmm, you know. But again, it's not in my category. It's not fruity. It's not bakery. So, of course, I'm not going to be all over it. <sighs> Let's see. We got Echo. Beach are also from the Bring Back My Bar in July. Yeah, this is a manly smell. Echo. Um, this is like a man's body wash or clone or something. Deodorant. Uh, beach is more of a tropical drink kind of smell. Yeah. Yeah. This is more of a tropical kind of drink, you know, sitting on the beach. Uh, this one. I'm just going to grab a couple here. Okay. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Well, speaking of the Bring Back My Bar from July, there's quite a few from here. From that, um, there's White Sands. And eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is that. Eucalyptus. 
Ooh, very medicinal. So if my kids are sick, that's what I'm going to use it for. White Sands is a very nice, soft bedroom scent. Oh, with like a hint of tropicalness to it. It's really nice. I never bothered putting it in my club. I had just gotten the one bar and enjoyed it, but I'm kind of glad I got this one because I'm going to enjoy it for sure. Uh, Hemingway. That one, I believe, is like a manly apple smell. Mmm, it's nice. Woodsy, apple, manly. This one's actually nice. I like the, the apple in it. Uh, banana nut bread. Now, this was in my club for a while, and I took it out to make room for something else. So I'm really glad I got another bar. Like I said, if it ever came back, I would definitely get more bars. And depending on how big my club is, you know, I'd consider putting it back in. But right now, I'm not super upset over it. Cherished. This one here, I've got written down. I tried it once. It was in a in the clearance section or flash sale, and it was in a the scent pack. And I had gotten the scent pack to try out. And it was the scent of the month for January of 2016. It's goji berry. There's that goji berry again. Passion flower, pink jasmine, and guava. Oh, and that was released with that Be Mine warmer for Valentine's Day. That heart. It's like a heart. Anyways, um, goji berry. It's a fruity floral, I guess. Yeah, this is a nice fruity floral purple wax. It's not too greasy. Like, this is old, I can tell. But, I mean, it's it's holding up nicely. So, it's definitely on my list to try. I remember enjoying it in the scent pack. So, I'm looking forward to trying the actual wax. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, she gave me two cherished. So, I got two of those. Um, let's see. Got a few more here. We've got Saddle Up which was the scent of the month for t May 2019. I had gotten, I believe it was the, I think it was the May 2019 whiff box. Either that or the April. No, because April, you get a sample. Usually you get a sample for the next month. Because I remember I got a whiff box and I had gotten a full bar of the saddle up. This one here is described as a uh, soft suede, aged leather, sheer musk, and a breath of fresh air. It came with like, a, the warmer was a cowboy hat warmer. This is nice. Um, I'm not a huge leather fan. I was going to say leather smeller. <laughs> a leather, I don't like the smell of leather too, too much. I find it usually it's very um, strong. But this, this is nice. This is soft. And like a, like a soft leathery clone. This is nice. I enjoyed it. When I had that, I was going to say brick. When I had that bar, I, I enjoyed it. So I'm going to enjoy this one too. I'm going to use it. Uh, another one is Rosewood and Freesia. And it says right on the pack scent of the month and it's pink uh, where are we rosewood and freesia scent of the month it was december 2015 i don't know if you noticed but a little bit of spit came out of my mouth okay it's white rose freesia lily hints of fur needle and rosewood oh boy let's try it yeah it's like tree and rose look at how juicy that one is maybe my mom will like that one too here's one country plum it was the scent of the month for April 2016, California ripened plum, raspberry, sandalwood, and cabernet wine. I'm not a wine drinker. I mean, I'll drink it, you know, but I don't go out of my way to buy it. Yeah, it's a nice plummy. Like a soft plummy scent. It's nice. I'm going to try it. I'll see what it's all about. Okay, so in all the rest, there's multiples. There's three... Um, Right? Yeah, three kinds, but I got multiple bars of each. So the first one I got was, she clearly got the scent of the month kit for June of 2020, which is the Welcome Summer. It's watermelon, plumeria, and a splash of tropical waters. Now, I've got two, four, six, there's eight bars. Now, currently the scent of the month kit comes with a brick and then three bars. It used to come with the, the nine bars like this so I, clearly she tried one didn't like it and i got the other eight but i enjoy it my mother really enjoys it too so between the both of us we'll, we'll get through it it's a nice um summer scent it's really nice for the summer we were melting it at uh camp this past summer so that one was welcome summer the other one that she gave me a few of i don't know i had never heard of it before i got five of them here and they're old um it's called pacific daydream it was the scent of the month for may 2016 it came with that really, really cute camper warmer. It's come, it's popped up a few times in the uh, clearance section that. It says beachy lime, pineapple, sweet candy, sugar, fresh Hawaiian sea salt. And you can tell that it is old. So I think these ones will probably be one of the first ones I try. I mean, melt. Mmm. This is beachy. I don't know if I smell. Again, this is like fruity, beachy, tropical-y. 
I'll have to try them out. I got five. So between them, I should be able to. And then the last scent I got is, again, another scent of the month. So she clearly got the kit for this one as well. And there's five of them. It's called Scarlet Woods. It's a nice red wax. I'll put them all down and I'll just keep the one. Scarlet Woods, scent of the month for December 2017. I remember this one and I never bothered trying it. It was, uh, I say cassis, red berry over crisp white cedar. And I remember getting... Was it a bar in a, I got a bar somehow. I remember getting a bar. I think it was in um, a whiff box or something. I can't remember, but I remember I didn't buy it, but I had gotten a bar somehow and I remember melting it. Yeah, it's a very strong berry tree scent. Very Christmassy, very perfect for the holidays actually. And I got five of them. So I'm sure I can pass them to my mom and, and see what she thinks, but I'll, I'll use that up. And yeah, that's all. That's all 47 bars that uh, she gifted me. I'm um, just going to double check my notes. Yeah. Yeah. I went over all of them. That's crazy. So anyways, let me know if anyone's ever gifted you something like that. I remember she mentioned, oh, by the way, I got a couple of scentsy things for you. I got a, or not a couple. She said, I have a little bit of uh, some, oh, some scentsy stuff for you that I'm not using. Great. Thanks. And then my, it's my husband's sister I should say so my sister-in-law and she uh my husband was helping her move some stuff and she was like hang on hang on hang on and so he helps her with because he has a truck and all that and he goes and brings her home and then he comes home and he's like oh by the way the sense he starts bringing this stuff in I'm like oh my god I couldn't believe it anyways very grateful to her she's my sister-in-law so I love her of course so anyways hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are if you ever had something like this anyone gift you anything let me know have you tried any of these scents did you like any of them? Did you hate anything? Anything. Any of them? Just let me know. Anyways, hope you're having a great day. Yeah, that's about it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.